Please welcome Mr. Gandhi Yesu to, to, to be on the stage. Yeah, my topic today is about innovations, but now it's going to be about home, right? About housing, and I'm, I will focus more on the fall prevention. Like you have heard from my introduction, that I'm actually um, I'm not a designer, but I will speak on behalf of my team um, about the, um, um, they are <coughs> interior designers and architects. So um, my presentation would be more like a re review, though. I will um, give you the examples of the innovations and what's going on. Um, some of them are re research, some of them are commercialized products all around the world. Um, yeah, let's move on. I'll start with with this news. I just this came up. I just came across this news on the nation TV in Thailand, and it says that the loss and slip from fall is ranked number two. The first one is the roadside accident. So I was quite quite surprised because it's it's a, as you all know, it's a serious problem for the elderly. And some stats also show that some fallers, uh, the lucky ones, they might got just a little small bruises, but the fall can cause them fracture, and some fracture cases might cause them that death. Like um, it, it, it could be fatal. So the impact is not only physical ones, but the psychological one as well. The fall, fall, the fall-related anxiety. So it, this can ruin not only the victim the fall, but also the family as well of um, of the victim. And um, what we can do is, um, besides um, like um, correcting from the cause, from the like uh, like uh, uh, biological changes, now we can modify the house to like adapt the house to be able to suit them. So this is the like the basic principles of home modification. Like um, there are three basic aspects that we you 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 can do. You can only add or change some like. Um, parts of the house, like adding some rails, or you can um, remodel it, you can change the floor, floor plan, or you can even extend or expand the space. So these are the basic, like a very, to understand, very easy to understand concept though. But um, now I will talk more about, um, about safe home then, and, um, and um, to add, to, to obtain the safety of the house, there are three more like um like uh, I call this a um, solution theme. So I will talk each one about 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 each one. I'll give the example about each one. Then the first one I call them uh, I call it to reduce the chance of fall. We cannot prevent the fall, right? We cannot reduce the chance to zero, but we can reduce just just the probability. The sec second one is like a second stage gate. The gate two is even though we we try to prevent fall, but if fall happen anyway. How, is it possible to reduce reduce the damage, reduce the, the impact of fall? In this term, it's the, it's the physical damage. The last one is the last state, stage gate for, for, for the home modification is we can provide a call for, for help in the house, right? And um, these three the, the theories can be ex, 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 executed in either for space in, 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 the, in, in, in the way of the space design or the product selection and spe specification and it can be very conventional, conservative way or it can be, it, it can be in some, well, use some in innovations. This presentation I'll talk more about this but I'll, I'll move on one by one then. The first one, the first one how to reduce the chance of fall. The basic theory that all the interior designer will, will, will do is, for example, to clear the space, to make the pathway accessible, and um, to make it visible, like from the bed to the bathroom. I'll go through very quick, quickly for this one. And um, we have to um, analyze, the, we, we call this a travel chain analysis. We have to know what and where um, the users will do or, or go in the house from the beginning of the day, like from the getting out of bed, to the bathroom, you know, and then we will know which spot that we have to prepare what, something like that. About lighting, about reaching up, about um, also about encouraging the exercise, right? So this can prevent fall as well. These are all quite the yeah. conventional one. The stepless concept, we uh, eliminate the step. We use a track drain and we install all the equipment in the house. So these are, you 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 all know about this already. So the same question approach. How about some innovations that I that I that, that I looked up? 
The first one, I will talk about the first innovation about home modification. This one, this one, you see, this is not a product innovation. It's a space design. It's a new idea of adopting the concept of customization, like made to measure. Because the sizing of the, the, the elderly, each one has different size, right? Small or tall. So the position of the rails to fit one will be just exactly for them. So for the housing modification, we know the users. We know that just like these, these two will use the, the bathroom. So we can measure the anthropometric data and then calculate into the specific installation position. So the, the, some kind of software was developed to input the data and then calculate the installation position of all the products in the house. So the user will be able to use this more, very effectiveness, I mean, use less energy, something like that, and you can grab all the rails and pull themselves up. Okay, so the software will look like this. So this one is developed by SCG though. Okay, and um, the second one, the second example, this one is a product innovation. This one is from Toto. Toto is a Japanese uh, manufacturer, right? And they um, research and develop the flooring, this kind of special floor. The bathroom floor, this one, is, has the special design and groove like this, and can drain away water very quickly. So this will get rid of the water film on the floor, so it can reduce the slip, uh, slipping. So the surface of your feet will not come in contact with water at all. Mm -hmm. And very easy to clean. So this is Japanese innovation. Yeah, this is the second, uh, second example. I call this one the ultra dry sur surface. The technology is all karate. Yeah. The third one, the, 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 the third one under the theme of reduced the chance of fall is the is, is an innovation of hand handrails. They integrate some kind of smart lighting in uh, with the rails, so the rails has a sensor and it and it can detect the like the, the presence of someone is approaching the stair, like um, try to climb up or down down the stair at night when the light is low, so the light will be you know will, will, will glow up automatically. This is their first kind of example of how to use the lighting with the rails. The second one is really different. The second one is different because it is the, is a queuing. So it's, this, um, this, this research is not actually quite new. They try to um, um, make the rails that can queue the user when, when the user is approaching, let's say, the wall with the rails, right? They want the, the L, L to, to, to grab hold on the rails along the way, but they, they don't. They just don't want to use the rail. When, this, when there is someone getting close to, to the wall, the lights will flash. So this is, a, this is a visual cue, and the research also study about the verbal cue, like the, like the rail can speak, like grab me, grab me, something like that. So um, the research um, conclusion is that uh, they, 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 they found that it works well with both cue. Yeah? So this is how the research is done. So they set up the environment, and then, um, yeah, they, they study behavior, this is observe. Mm, the second theme, the second solution theme is to reduce the impact of fall. So even if the fall ha happened, we don't want some fracture or anything to happen, right? This one can be executed very straightforward, in a straightforward way. Imagine that we can cushion the house, like we put, and we, we line the house with the cushion. So the idea of this came in reality with this um, Spanish manufacturer called Bo Boeing. They produce all the bathroom sanitary wear, not in ceramic anymore, but in polyurethane. Like the basin, here, there, and the countertop, and flooring, and even some accessories, some accessories. So you can have the cushion bath bathroom, right? So this is like a second sec, uh, second stage gate that can that can reduce the, the, the problem of fall, even though we want to pre pre Prevent it, and this will be like a soft landing for the elderly. Then, mm -hmm. so yeah. And the third one, the third one, I call this one call for help. Is the last stage gate, so the house can uh, should be able to provide um, the access for help, right? And um, the uh, the the elderly who fell wants to be known, or the care caregiver want to know whether the the elderly has fell uh, when and where, right? And 
uh, the con conventional approach, very conventional approach would be just you, you all know about this one installing the, the, the pool, push cord alarm, right? But it works well though, but um, it's not perfect. Because it's still localized, it has to be there, you have to fall there, you have to you know, go to reach and pull and push, right? And uh, it has to be activated by the user. So how about adopting the home intelligence concept, right? Home automation, some sensor and stuff. The first approach is still quite conventional. If you imagine that the house can capture the data of the user, I call this the coarse one. The coarse one because it, it will uh, only take like black and white, yes or no, fall or not fall, right? So it can activate the alarm around the house or send to the smart, smart, smartphone. So this is only the outer fall action. The other more advanced, more, 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 more well-developed uh, home intelligence technology can capture the final data of the user. So not only it take fall and alarm, it can even predict fall because the house will learn and know that this per person is changing in, like, like in the movement and stuff and then they will alarm the care caregiver that something is going on with this one coming heavily with them, something like that. In reality, it already happened. With the conventional device, this one is the wearable one. It's the, it's the early stage of the, this kind of gadget that was developed that, that, that the user has to um, wear, wear this. Quite clumsy though. But it has technology of either gyroscope, uh, which detects the orientation, or the acceleration, the speed. And the, 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 the more advanced one would be the one without the wearable device. We call this non-contact devices. And the sensors is not with the user, it's at the house in the perimeter, in the wall, in the floor. And the uh, technology will be either in infrared, radio frequency, or R RF, ultrasonic, or image processing. The problem with this technology is we have to protect the privacy of the user as well. As well as, you know, like trying to detect whether they, 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 they fall or not. There's some research from the University of Utah. Uh, they use the RF, yeah. And um, they kind of like they used like they they um, they install like the the the, 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 the emitter like like the transmitter of the the R, RF on the wall and they produce it in five layers layer one two three four five from toe to head level and um, what detected is the attenuation of the RF because body comprised of like water. So the eye was attenuated, and then they will know whether this one is standing up or fall to the ground, like this. And um, the actual display will be like just like this. Uh, they call it the slender person. It's actually it doesn't look like a person at all, but the spherical thing on top is the like the top, the upper, the, the topmost layer that I mentioned, it, and they 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 make it as a sphere for the aesthetic purpose. And then, as a uh, person, this person moving around the house, this is all what's the, what is detected. The radius of each la layer represents the attenuation. Imagine if this one fell, so there will be like a, just one block of, you know, yeah, on the, the, on, on the floor. There's nothing above, yeah. So this is just a resource scale. Mm -hmm. And, um, the next one, the same, same technology, same con concept. This one using the RF as well. This is a research from M MIT. It's called Wide Track. This one already launched into the market, mm -hmm. and um, the, the brand is Emerald. Um, they, this, this one claimed that's the first one that can predict fall. Yeah, I think this one works because it's, uh, it, it, it deploys the artificial intelligence kind of con. con Concept and it also needs the big data, yeah, required for this one as well. The big data about the fall patterns, about learning what is uh, what is fall, what is not, and what is the tendency of the fall. Right. Okay, I have a short clip for you too. Introducing Emerald, a modern fall detection device for caregivers. 
looks pretty much just like a router. <clears throat> just put it anywhere. So these are all the examples that I, that I picked up and I share, share to there are five of them. They are all about uh, the whole modification and stuff. And then um, it, just, it just came up to me that what if, what if we think they are the other way around? If we don't, don't do anything with the house, we just keep the house the way it is. But we use the other technology to, you know, to put it on the user in, instead. This one is already launched to the market in Japan. Many of you might have, might have, might, might have seen this already. Already it's called Hybrid Assisted Limb, or how. Uh, it's from Daiwa House. So it's, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's for, you cannot purchase it. I think it's a rental model though. So yeah, it can assist the person to walk against, yeah, like steadily, some, something like that. Just the thought to think, think about it. You don't have to do the, uh, like to put all the technology onto the house, but just correct it with the user. Mm -hmm. And um, lastly, um, the innovations that I presented also like like most of the innovations involve like high te technology, like expensive, you know, like gadgets and everything. But it, is it is it always the best? I don't think so. We don't think so, right? Because what is, what what is good is what is what is right 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 for you. I'll give you the example of some other innovation. I think um, some of you might in the crowd here because I I I, I, I just liked it. I love this. Found, found, found it. They use the handrails made of like the local material. Mm. It's an initiative pro project from Dong Tako, yeah, in Pichi province in Thailand. So to me, if we don't think too much about the strict, in, strict, strict definition of innovation, so this is innovative enough, though, right? Because it's just right for them, and can, it, it can change their, their, their life. And also, this project is in Chiang Mai, so we use the local materials to educate, you know, the people, the villagers, how to, you know, to protect themselves from from fall. Yeah, this is from Huang right? So, to us as, as a manufacturer, so this is also con considered innovation for us. Okay. Yeah. Thank. You. That's it. Mm. Thank you very much.